Dan National Health Mission yang kesorka jelah Aku sengi baar kelar ke Yang ke World TV de Arjar Pusau Hapok ke pang Yes, we can end TV Tak ke program Lapan buat ru Dan ke jengkli Yang ke CNDST Lab Ha RP Chest Hospital Kampung Selong Kihak kihai Kepala isim bentar Kilong Uram Kumar S IAS Mission Director NHM and Secretary to Health and Family Welfare Department Dr. F. V. Karsying DHS MCH and FW Com Joint MD NMH Mekalaya Dr. J. Karwan Lang State to Bear Clauses Officer but Dr. B. Shanpru District TB Officer is Kasi Hills but Kinong Tre Jongka RP Chest Hospital Nalor Kiwi Pat Habakran Harjing Lang Uram Kumar SIS Mission Director NHM Mekalaya Pulang bagi sorga pedang, bagi sorga jela, kila don kejeng yo i ke basai, ban pentu ya kejeng pang tibi, hakeri bat dak bat pelong ya kejeng kmi nia ban lap ya kidak kishin, nang ban lap ban sumar bat ayda wai, bat ong bagi kejeng pang tibi dek ban cimkia bat kebala bat pinkoi dak kejeng sumar kebade. to keep ourselves updated. It's a very, very changing world and very fast changing world. And to have complete, comprehensive understanding on something, reading is so important. I'm very happy, doctor, that you have taken that effort to read it. And uh, uh, so uh, Dr. Jennifer already uh, mentioned in detail about the efforts that have gone into the TB elimination program. It's not anymore TB control program. It is TB elimination program from the uh, national level, from the uh, in a state level, we have had very, very clear vision that we need to end TB in a comprehensive manner in the country. And for that, whatever steps we need to take, we we'll have to take. It has, this is a disease, which is you know, this is the oldest disease known to humankind, uh, which since uh, the documented history, we have had uh, the things about disease, which Dr. Monica already mentioned. And we need to ensure that these, uh, you know, we have sufficient systems in place to address this disease. Now, when actually COVID happened, we actually we, we actually found out uh, that was the initial times when I had actually joined as uh, mission director. In fact, there is one more occasion. This is exactly the fourth year I took over as MDMSM, 19th March 2020. Uh, you know, I taken uh, charge as uh, mission director during COVID times. And when we were trying to understand COVID and how it functions and everything, it was quite uh, strange that someone said that it is almost just like TV. You have to, if you know the person, you have to do a, uh, you know, a contact tracing, you have to find out who are the high risk contacts, you have to do susceptibility testing, you have to do presumptive testing for them, you have to isolate them, that is how you cure it. Uh, then isolate them. Why does TV not get this much of attention which it's supposed to get? Because this is one bacteria which is evolving along with humankind and sometimes much more stronger. Uh, where we might have situations where we will not be able to save people. So it's very important that we have enough systems. One of the reasons why uh, the enough attention it has sometimes doesn't get from the right stakeholders is it is also a kind of a, it used to be, it's not anymore, it also used to be a kind of a poor man's disease. You know, where there's a lot of crowding, where there's a lot of possibility transmission, where there is people do not have enough private spaces to live. That is where the spreading is faster, that is where the spreading is higher. But today, those things have gone that you know, it is not anymore a uh, poor person's disease at all. It can come to anyone.
can come to anyone. Um, uh, most of you are working in hospitals or know about it much more in detail than I do. You can go to a hospital, any hospital, and there is chances if the hospital doesn't have enough infection control mechanisms or anything, we can catch this MDR even from water source, other sources, and etc. It is a very, very serious issue. So we need to have constant awareness, constant uh, systematic steps to tackle this issue. Now, uh, two, three things are very important is what I feel. One, uh, in TB, we need to demystify this disease even further uh, in a language that communities understand. That is why the TB uh, uh, TB Free Village Panchayat or Villages uh, program has started. We are already there, about 250 villages will get the TB Free Village status. But people have to understand TB in much more simplified manner. Until that, it would be very difficult for us to uh, take this as a public health movement. This is a, such an important task. So the main challenge is to demystifying it and telling people that it is serious. If someone at home have had TB, we need to be because this, is a, this has a long dormant period. It can be there in body for 10 years, 15 years. It will not manifest immediately. After that, it will manifest. And TB can be cured. That is also something which we need to know with the proper treatment regimen. The treatment treatment uh, continuity has to be there and it has to be made of. Uh, uh, this proper treatment, uh, you know, uh, treatment is possible to do until we take it, uh, you know, systematically and do that. And also, people with HIV are very highly susceptible to TB, and there also it's there. We already had a district which got the award for the highest number of HIV people in the HIV testing. These are important things which we need to do both from the community side as well as from the clinical side. These two things has to have a very good connection. Unless we have that. Uh, we are going to have cases come here and there and it is going to manifest in different manners. That's why uh, infrastructure like this, uh, Culture and Drugs Institute Laboratory, for, we need to test for almost all cases wherever they have a certain threshold to see whether, you know, what treatment regimens we can have for people so that they might get into the treatment which earlier and it can be actually cured.